Looky, 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 it's crumble cookie. Crumble cookie for life. Crumble cookie. Off the crumble, guys. I got this week's crumble. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Bayer coming at you, and today we have another crumble cookie review. I'm so excited for this week's crumble cookies because it is the Halloween week, and they have some amazing Halloween flavors, and I'm really, really excited to show you guys because these flavors look like the bomb.com. So I'm hoping what I just said is true. So let's take a, let's name all the flavors. First, we have pumpkin cake, which I'm most excited for. It smells just like pumpkin pie. And then let's get into the minis that we always get. We have semi-sweet chocolate chip, which if you checked out my short, that does not look semi-sweet. Then we have a peanut butter one, dirt cake, which I love like dirt cake, ice cream, and stuff like that. So I think this one's gonna be a hit. Then we have um, Blue Monster featuring Ch Chips Ahoy. Then we have, I believe it's Halloween like Cake Batter Blondie. And then we had to get a double of birthday cake, I mean dirt cake, because they cannot make this one in a mini. So we had to get the six pack, so we added this one. I'm literally like so excited to try these. Like, don't these just look amazing? This looks like one of the best lineups I've ever seen out of the my Crumble experience trying them. And I love going to Crumble and getting to pick out my flavors and just getting like videoed. It's so fun in Crumble. Like, you gotta check it out. So we're gonna start off with the minis. I think the first one we're gonna try is the um, Blue Monster. I'm just gonna call it Cookie Monster for now because I don't feel like saying Blue Monster if you drink Chips Ahoy, but that is what it is. It's very squishy, it kinda looks like a pancake, if I had to be honest. Like my dad's chocolate chip pancakes. They are the best. Has some blue icing on it, so hoping this is good. So, kind of what I'm getting from this cookie when I took my first bite, I wasn't getting a lot, a lot of like Chips Ahoy flavor, but then I took another bite and I am seeing the Chips Ahoy flavor. It's very, very soft cookie. And I think it's really new Cal Crumble made a Chips Ahoy cookie. Like it's a cookie brand, but the Crumble is also a cookie brand. So I think collabing those two together was a really good idea. And I love like the Blue Monster future Chips Ahoy name. Crumble always has amazing names for their cookies in general. I would say the blue icing is really, really good. It's definitely giving that cookie monster kind of like good icing vibe. And it's actually a pretty good cookie. So I'm going to give this a 6.9 out of 10. I wouldn't say my, it's my all time favorite cookie, but it's not bad if you're looking for a nice Chips Ahoy kind of like cookie monster cookie if you're a big fan of that kind of stuff. So this first one was decent, but it was still pretty good. So let's get into our next one. I think our next one that we're gonna try is this semi-sweet chocolate chip. Like, guys, there's literally no chocolate chips in this. And what I normally see when I'm looking on the Crumble website, or in Crumble, is a bunch of chocolate chips and salt on it. That looks like blueberries, guys, not chocolate chips. But, yeah. So, Crumble, all I have to say is where is this chocolate chips? You guys cannot be calling this a, cho a semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie if there's no chocolate chunks in the cookie. I'm going to say, last week I tried the Kentucky Butter Cake one, which is a simple, like, plain, just like a good old sugar cookie. And this tastes very, very similar to that. I'm not getting any chocolatey taste. I'm just getting a plain old sugar cookie. I'm not really impressed by Crumble. I would expect them to do more since it's their original semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie that they have every week. I think this just should be called Crumble Cookie. Like it shouldn't even have like a fancy name because it's just really like a buttery, like simple old sugar cookie. But it's not horrible, it's just, I'm not getting their vibe of semi-sweet chocolate chunk for this one. So I'm gonna, I'm always honest on Reason Avery and I'm gonna have to go this lower on the scale instead of higher on the scale. I'm gonna give this a 4.6 out of 10. It's nothing special, it doesn't have much of a taste, and I definitely expect more from Crumble. But Crumble, all your other cookies are amazing. I'm just saying this one little small detail that I had to point out in the cookie, but it's not a bad cookie. Let's get to our next one. Which one should we try next? I'm thinking the um, Halloween 
cake batter blondie, which it has like Halloween sprinkles around it. And I love like blondies and like cake batter in general. So really, really excited to try this. So let's take our first bite. Guys, I know this cookie looks really, really uh, like amazing. And I, my favorite part about it is probably the white chocolate chips and the sprinkles around it. But the cookie base, like base, it's giving a very like cake battery, given that kind of like example. But the cake batter is a little too sweet for me. I feel like you need to make it taste like real, real cake batter, not just like a, it kind of tastes like a simple like Target or Panera sugar cookie that you get. Just like a sugar cookie. Kind of similar to the semi-sweet chocolate chunk that we just tried, which should probably just be called Crumble Cookie. So that's, it's a new official name for this one. But I'm not getting anything special. The only thing that I do like about this cookie is the white chocolate chips in it. So I would say this is bad. I'm gonna give this about an eight out of 10. I do not think it's a bad cookie. I love the name of it. I think Halloween Cake Batter Blondie is an amazing name for it. And it's actually a pretty good cookie. So our final rating for this one is an eight out of 10. It's not bad, but it's just not there to give like a nine or a 10 out of 10, but it is a pretty good cookie. And I think it deserves an eight. And we have, we have one, two, we have three more cookies to try. The next one we're trying is Dirt Cake. And I'm glad I got two of these because my dad said he really, really wanted a gummy worm on top of these because he loves gummies just like me. So this one will be left for him, the gummy bear. So I mean gummy worm. So let's try this. Guys, when I say this is one of the best caramel cookies, I know I said that before, but seriously, the chocolate base is not too chocolatey, not too like amazingly sweet. Definitely a great dirt, dirt cake vibe. And then the icing, huh, I, it just, I want a big bowl of it for dessert tonight. It tastes so, so, so amazingly good. I'm so happy I got two of these. The gummy worm adds an amazing top. So just so you know, Dad, when you take a bite of this cookie, you are going to love it if you're watching this video. This was like immediately in a million out of 10. One of the best crumble cookies I've ever tried. And I absolutely love this one. You guys have to go to your local crumble cookie right now and get it before it sold out because people who are watching this are probably going on their way to crumble right now because when I say this, I mean it. It is the best crumble cookie that I have probably ever tried. And I'm being completely, completely honest. So, this is amazing. Now we're gonna try our last one in the mini pack. It's just a plain old peanut butter sugar cookie with like peanut butter M&Ms in it, which this is the one they should be having like all week. I love semi-sweet chocolate chip, but I'm getting bored of them having it every single week. So you guys should try to add this one in to make it a little bit more fun. Guys, I didn't even notice this, but it has like a peanut butter kind of like filling inside. It's very gooey and good. The M&M's adds an amazing peanut butter touch to it. I love me some peanut butter M&M's. Well, I mean Reese's peanut butter peanut M&M's. And yes, it's very, very good. I'm definitely getting a great like peanut butter vibe from it. And Crumble, you, this should be the new cookie that you should be having all week. It's amazing and simple, but it's not like too like boring, just like a chocolate chip cookie. It has an amazing M&M, Reese's Pieces, like peanut buttery taste. and. I really do like this one. It's kind of falling apart on me though because I just had to show you that gooeyness. I'm going to give this a 8.3 out of 10. I think it's a really good cookie. It's not my favorite, but it is really, really good. It's nice and simple, but it's not like too much and not like just like a sugar cookie. So this one is really good. I'm gonna give this a 8.3 out of 10, just like I said. So that is our last one in the mini pack. Overall, these were all very good, but we have one more to try. This is my one that I've been so excited for, the pumpkin cake cookie. Look at the icing. It smells just like some pumpkin pie that I get from Wegmans. Ah, I gotta pick this up without falling. This looks like the birthday cake that I got for when I celebrated it, but it kind of looks a little smaller, but it looks amazing. Ready to try this, guys? Guys, when I say this, this tastes like pumpkin pie, fall. The icing is a literally, I'm not the biggest fan of like crazy, like sweet vanilla icing, but it's like a pumpkin-y, pumpkin spice latte, fall, kind of like vibe to the icing. And the cake, guys, 
The cake is literally like so good. It tastes just like pumpkin fall. Incredibly, like incredibly, incredibly good. I'm gonna be honest, this gets a higher than the dirt cake. I love the dirt cake, but this is just amazing. I see why they don't make cakes minis, obviously, because they are like, once you take one bite of their cakes, you just want to eat the whole thing. So crumble cookie, all like my cakes and stuff I tried for you so far have been really, really good. Like the banana upside down cake I tried last week was amazing. This is giving a, this is giving a, I'm giving this a, a million point, a million point, a million thousand million million out of 10. One of the best crumble cookie cakes and just crumble cookie in general that I've ever tried. I absolutely love this and you have to go to your local crumble cookie and try this one. I mean, this week actually was really, really good. All the flavors were honestly incredible and I definitely rated this week a, hmm, 8.7 out of 10. I think it definitely was a really good week, and some of their cookies were amazing. Some of them were simple, but it had a good mixture of all different types of flavors. So you guys can hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give us a big, big, big thumbs up, and go to your local crumble cookie and try all these crumble cookies because they are amazing. Bye!